Welcome to Family Gamer TV. Now, you may have seen on the channel, we've been trying out a service called Maths Doctor that offers children some extra tuition to help them with their maths, get them inspired. Um, but I wanted to talk to a teacher about this, and I'm here with Ben, head of year at our local secondary school. Um, so is this is it a positive thing when you hear one of your students is getting extra tuition in a particular subject? Yeah, I think definitely. I think it shows that the parents are very keen on their kids doing well. It shows that the kids are sort of committed outside of lessons, outside of um, school time to doing well in their subjects. And we've certainly seen a lot of evidence in school that it can really boost grades and really help the kids to do well, definitely. And so if a parent's looking for um, a tutor, do you know how they'd normally go about finding that in your experience? Um, I think through school we can recommend sort of local people that we know and then obviously they can search online to find local people who are doing that sort of tutoring and, and helping out, definitely. Well, online there's this service that I mentioned, Maths Doctor. Um, so I wanted to, to show you some of that, show you a little video we made of my daughter using it and then maybe we could um, sort of see, get your thoughts, your expert opinion on sure. how it would fit. So there you go, that's your first look at Maths Doctor. How do you think that would fit into some of the students that you teach? Yeah, I think it'd be really good. I think I like the idea that um, you've got a bit of sort of communication going on there. Uh, they're getting obviously some help directly from the screen. And I quite like the idea that it's sort of hands-on online and certainly a bit more sort of flexible um, in terms of the sort of timing when you could do your sort of tutoring and things like that, mm -hmm. definitely. Yeah. Yes, there's a few things there. So firstly, you get a bit like nice little bit of kit, that pen and tablet, so that um, the students are able to draw and write more easily. Now, they could you could do it without that. You could just use a mouse. But there was certainly an element of the sort of novelty of the technology and being able to communicate with your tutor from your own home that Ellen seems to really appreciate. Sure. I think one of the things that maybe sometimes when using computers for work is there's a sort of um, pen and paper or a computer. And I think obviously here you've got a sort of medium between the two, which obviously is going to sort of help the kids um, using technology, but also when they come to do things like SATs or exams, they're going to have to actually be writing with a pen. So obviously that's going to help them yeah. here too, mm -hmm. definitely. Yeah, so they're doing the same yeah, in the, when they're practising with their tutor, the same as they would be doing yeah. in a real exam. And how about in terms of getting, getting it scheduled and getting it timed in? Is it important to have a flexibility there? Yeah, I think that's really important. I think that um, busy lives and maybe not being able to stick to one particular slot um, every week when you're doing tutoring, to have something that's sort of designed by parents and the kids and the tutor um, working together to sort of come up with when would they like to do that and when would they like to get involved. I think I could imagine that working really well. Now, one question I had in my mind when I started using this service is whether there would be a tension between some of Ellen's teachers and the stuff she was being taught in the Maths Doctor programme. Um, do you think that is a tension and how best should you handle that? Yeah, I think you'd have to um, just try and make sure the communication was really clear between maybe things that they're already doing online, like using the My Maths between the parents, between the students and between the teachers at school. I think if it's well informed, then the kids are going to get a really valuable experience from it because it's showing what are they struggling with, what do they need to work on, and hopefully they're getting that in school and they're getting it at home um, from the tutor too. I think it could, could work really well, I think. Yeah, and one of the things you get as a parent, you get a report back from the tutor at the end of each lesson, not only saying what, um, what the child was taught, uh, but also saying how well they did. And I guess that would be a useful bit of information to share with the teacher at school as well. It's ongoing communication. If, it's, if those things are f um, being informed uh, from home to the school and from school back to the tutor, then obviously when progress has been made, then they can move on to different um, subjects. They can look at different topics. They can think about where their strengths and weaknesses are. Any support that kids are getting outside of school with the learning that's going on in school is going to be a benefit to them. And I think, um, you know, teachers have got pressures on them to meet targets and all those sort of things as well. So I think any help they can get supporting the students with the progress they're making is definitely going to help. So we've touched on quite a few different topics there. Um, but if, if a parent came to you and said, I'm looking at using this Maths Doctor service, how best can I use it um, for my child? What would be your sort of top tips for getting the most out of something like this? I'd suggest that um, the parents uh, sort of had an, an interview or maybe a sort of parents evening type situation uh, with the teacher. They sort of came up with a list of strengths and weaknesses. They checked that against the My Maths things online to check that that is where progress needs to be made in those areas. And then I'd use that as a parent to inform choosing a tutor online for this programme. I'd, I'd use that information to inform that. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, actually, just reminded me, we, that's something we did was use that My Maths tool that's quite common, I think, in schools, isn't it? It's a way of teaching maths and the, the teacher picks out particular challenges for the student. And um, so we used Ellen's scores on those to work out where there were particular areas that she could focus on, Brilliant. took those over into Maths Doctor, and actually she, those are now some of her favourite topics in maths. I think, I think that's the way to do it. Mm-hmm. Great, well, it's really good to get an informed um, opinion there on Maths Doctor, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how Ellen progresses. Thanks for your time. Great, thanks very much. Cheers.